Next, we're going to take our piece of wood, place it there with this screw in the front hanging over a little bit from the maybe a centimeter or so out from the edge, maybe two. Take something heavy and place it on top. That will hopefully hold it in place. I'm going to take our weight here with the string. And this is where our little mark comes in handy. We take the string and we put it between those two washers so that we can clamp onto it. And we place the little mark at the very bottom of the washer. So that you can just barely see the little black mark hanging out the bottom. And then tighten it down as much as you can. And so if everything's okay, it should pivot off that bottom point. So the point of rotation isn't the center of the screw, but the bottom of the washer. Okay, next we're gonna mount this board. So we have two pieces of tape. like this. Right, let's put that in from the end on the side. And we're going to tape it to hanging down from the table. But the thing is that we want the table. The table may or may not be level. So what we want to leave a little bit of gap here so that we can adjust the angle. Okay, so what we want is that it's perfectly level and plumb. So this line here will be going straight down because of gravity. So you want this edge of the board lined up with that. I'll try to do that. Doesn't have to be um, adjust the position on that end, and then you can adjust the angle on this side. It's going to be on the way here, but I have to look at it. I have to do pull up a this kind of sight down. Should be able to get it fairly good. And then tighten those up once you get it in place so that it doesn't move. Okay, so now I've just checked everything's okay. This, the pendulum should come over and line up with this line over here now. Next thing you need to do is take your scale and put it underneath on the floor so that that bullseye here is underneath the, um, the line and a little bit out. So you can look down and adjust until it seems it's in the right place. Okay, then we're going to take these guys and we're going to put it on the little bullseye there. Then we're going to take the other end and we're going to loosen this up a little bit and put it between the top washer and the second washer. At this point, doesn't matter where, we just need to get it in there so that we can adjust it later. Okay, so what we need to have happen, oops, I forgot we need one more mark here. All right, so now what we need to do is measure from the top of this thing down to the bottom of the paper. Make that measurement. And we transfer it over to this side. Alright, now we can 
pull out our pulley and we put it over here. Okay, now what we want is that this string will be tight when it's level and where this pulley is, um, one end is at the top is here and the other edge is here. Okay, so the pulley should be right here, but the string should be just tight when that's hanging straight down. So right now it's too loose. So I need to make it a little tighter. That looks closer, so I'm going to tighten it up a little bit because it's very loose right now. So this is going to be the um, most difficult part of the lab, is to get this right. Um, if it's not right, all the measurements will be off, so it's important that it's right. So if you want, you can have a friend hold that in and see if this ends up in the right place. I think I'm still a little too, a little too short now, or it's too long now, it's too short. So one good way is if you get it close, put this in the right place, you can look over there and see how far out it is. So to me it looks like it's a couple centimeters short. So that means I need to make this two centimeters longer. So if you just hold it there, you can see how much you're pulling out. That should be the correction over there. about right. If I was doing this for real, I would be, do it more carefully and make really, really sure. Okay, but this is the setup for the first part of the lab. What you now do is you turn this on with the weight on it. Okay, so that will tear it with that weight on there. And now it says there's no force. So now if I start to pull up on this string, it measures how hard I'm pulling up on the string. And that force will be the same as the force of this string on there. And the reason we spent so much time getting this all set up like this is that if you watch what happens, if I pull this pulley up along this line, this string is always perpendicular to that one. A bit of geometry there, Euclid would be happy. Okay, it's still perpendicular. And that's exactly what we want. And the reading on the scale is going up as it's pulling tighter and tighter. So this allows us to measure how much force there is on this weight at each position. So if we change the position, the amount of force changes. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you'll set your camera up so everything's good. And then you're going to make a recording. Okay, so the first thing is you just let it sit there a little bit and you're recording. Then you're going to pull up on this until you get 10 grams down here. And then you're going to try as hard as you can to hold still. It's going to be jumping around like crazy. It's not going to say 10 grams. It's going to be jumping around from like 8 up to 12. Okay, That's just how it is, but do your best to hold still. And, and do something to indicate to the camera that, okay, this is when I'm holding still. So you say 1, that's for 10. Okay, so then you go up. A little bit more till you hit 20 and you say hold still or at least say 20 okay so the camera catches that because later you're gonna have to look at this then you go up to 30 say 30 40 40 right a little bit slower than this and making sure I'm not really even looking at the scale so there's 50 so you get 50 um, 60 I don't have six fingers so I'll just say that's got to be six 70 do this carefully, I'm not doing it carefully. 80, go up to um, 90, okay? If I'm not to 90 yet, it should be up here someplace. All right, um, if you can set up this board so that this is solid, it will really help a lot. I've just got it flopping here, so I can't lean against it. If I could lean against it, then I'd be able to hold my hand more steady and the reading would be more steady too.